so excited to be here, y'all. Now listen, the Met Gala, bitch, okay? Y'all know that just passed. Okay, bitch, I don't know if it was a motherfucking gala or a costume party, bitch, but most of us like it. Yes, most of us like it, girl. Okay, Lady Gaga, she came in there, bitch, okay? She gave you outfit changes, but she gave you a production, girl. I said, ooh, bitch, look at Gaga. Rah, rah, ga, 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 bitch. That's the gaga we miss, bitch. Okay, who want gaga? Not Stephanie, but we love both. We love both, bitch, okay? Yes, okay, then Katy Perry came in there, bitch, okay? As a chandelier, bitch, okay? I thought it was the motherfucking Broadway production of Beauty and the Beast. Be my guest, be my guest, bitch. But that's what she liked, and we love it, okay? But I'm gonna tell you what got on my motherfucking nerves, okay? You know, the internet can be really crude, messy, petty. Bitch and evil. Okay? All of that, bitch. All of that in your cup, bitch. All of that. Okay? Party shows up. Okay? Looking beautiful. Everybody look beautiful. Nikki shows up. Looking beautiful. The heat you bitches come. Comparing the two. Bitch, okay? Why can't these bitches just be great? Okay? Seriously, bitch. Y'all said motherfucking Cardi came in there, bitch, like a bedroom set. Okay? And Nikki came in there, bitch. Y'all said her. She came in there, bitch, like she was dressed for a sixth grade prom. Bitch, why can't they just be in their good shit, bitch, doing their shit? Two successful women, all right, doing something that they love to do. Most of us wake up each and every day, bitch, going to a job that we hate. Okay, let's be happy for someone else that they got their dream job, bitch. They making their money. They doing what it is that they do. Let these bitches rap and stop trying to make it about them two being beefing. Let them just do their shit. Seriously, bitch, let these girls do their fucking shit, bitch. You like who you like, she like who she like, I like who I like. Who gives a fuck what we like? We like it. Let them just do their shit. All right, bitch? Seriously. Mm. But shout out to everybody that went to the function, bitch, okay? Y'all was in y'all good shit, bitch, okay? If it was good to you, bitch, then it was good. All right? Who gives a fuck what everybody else think, bitch? Step in your shit, bitch, okay? You did it. You did it, bitch. They entertain us. They supposed to entertain us, bitch. And the shit entertained us. And some shit freaked us out. But we like it. Okay? If you love it. Bitch, thank you. Okay? Now let's move on to some other shit, bitch, okay? Mm-hmm. Steve Harvey. Y'all Uncle Steve. Bitch, okay? Brayden, is that your uncle? You like Steve Harvey? He alright. He alright? You don't like him? He's the king of comedy. That's what he calls himself. He's the king of comedy, bitch. Who you like in comedy? Eddie Murphy, Martin Lawrence. Oh, yeah. You like the people I like. You like the people I like, Brandon. Yes, you know Martin Lawrence is my favorite. Okay? So, yeah. So, anyway, Steve Harvey. He said y'all shouldn't be sleeping, bitch. Okay? He said y'all shouldn't be sleeping. All right, notice I keep saying y'all, okay? Because I'm going to fuck the bed. Steve Harvey says rich people don't sleep for eight hours. They don't got time to sleep. You got me fucked up, bitch. I sleep and take naps. But you got me fucked up. Seriously, and I understand everybody like, oh, yeah, we got to believe Steve Harvey because he's successful. He's very successful. All right? But I'm going to tell you this. The next man path ain't your path. And how he did it don't mean that's how you going to get it. Bitch, for real. All right? I goes to fuck the bed. And you notice the ones that don't like sleeping, bitch, they on all types of drugs. Bitch, shoot me up. Bitch, just to stay up. They want to be shot up just to stay the fuck up. Yeah, bitch. They saggy as shit, bitch, okay? They look 86 and they 23. Bitch, y'all, I'm going to fuck the bed. All right? Now, he was talking to his audience. Whoever receiving, you take it in. Whoever agreed, you take it in. Okay? But I'm just here to say, everybody with a platform, every time they talk, bitch, okay, it ain't, for, it ain't meant for you to do. Straight like that. He's a very successful man. God bless him and all his success. He deserved everything he worked hard for. But how he got it, bitch, don't mean that's the way that we're going to get it. Bitch, seriously, I'm going to fuck the bed. Right after we shoot this, bitch, I'm going to bed. So listen to this, bitch, okay? BBC, radio host, okay? First time ever hearing about BBC, bitch. The only BB I know is BBD, Bill Bim Devo. All right, but BBC, radio host, okay? He was fired, bitch. Mm-hmm. Yes, they fired that man, okay? After he reportedly, bitch, compared the royal baby to a monkey. Now, it's certain things that's off limits, and kids is one. 
Kids and grandmothers. I don't play. Kids and grandmothers off limits, bitch. That's a death threat. Okay? Now, this radio host, okay, his name Baker, okay, he basically compared the royal baby to a monkey. All right? Now, he did it in a tweet. Now, let me get the literature together, okay? Let me get this shit out, okay? Baker has officially been let go from his position at BBC after posting a racist tweet about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's baby boy. CNN reported that. You know, they be on shit. Okay, yeah. Okay? So the former BBC radio presenter reportedly tweeted a black and white photo of a man and a woman holding hands with a chimpanzee, bitch. Okay? In a suit and a top hat. Okay? With the caption. Royal baby leaves the hospital. They let his ass go. Okay? You fucking with a higher power. But you are fucking with a higher power, bitch, okay? That's the royal family, bitch. Okay? They probably on the same street as the Lord, bitch. That's a higher power. Yeah! They let that man go. And his response was, it was a misunderstanding. No, bitch, it wasn't no misunderstanding. We understand it clear what you fucking tweeted. Yeah! They said that's racist. You gotta go. Calling that child a monkey. You gotta go. Okay? So they let his ass go. That's what the fuck they did, y'all. They let that man the fuck go, bitch, okay? They walked in this motherfucker. Pack up your shit. Pack up your shit. You gotta go. Mm-hmm. And you won't be going to the grocery store to get no bananas. You going for home. Yes, bitch! Good morning! Keep putting the marshmallows in that teacup, bitch. Yes! Keep it sweet! Just like me. So look. World news, bitch, and we got it right here for you. Now, right here in my city, D.C., bitch, yeah! Shout out to D.C., girl! D-fucking-C! Bitch, I get excited when I talk about my city. All I think about is chicken wings, mumbo sauce, and french fries with salt and pepper. So look, D.C., bitch, okay? So, we got this music here, and it's called Go-Go. A lot of people think it's just sticks and buckets, but you know, it's that, okay? A lot of superstars have sampled. Even your queen, bitch, yeah. Beyonce, crazy in love, that's a Go-Go beat. Okay, yes, the fuck that is. That's the go-go beat, right? Go-go is our history here. It's our music. It's our culture. It's our lifestyle, bitch, okay? When we walk, we walk to a go-go beat. Bitch, okay? When we dance, we dance to a Congo beat. Bitch, that's how we are in D.C. If you're really D.C., bitch, it's rooted within you, okay? So, you know, like every city, it's changing. Okay, people are building up. You know, people building these nice luxury apartments in the city. You know, and different people are coming into the city. Caucasians, Asians, just different people, okay? Gentification, ain't that what it's called? I don't know, fucked up that word, but it's okay, bitch, figure it out, okay? But anyway, that's what it's called. Y'all know I speak hoodie bonnets, bitch, I have a speech impediment, bitch, figure it out. All right, yeah. So, you know, the Caucasian people is coming in. So, Uptown DC, for years, we had this store, okay? Metro PS store, okay? And outside of the store, they play go-go music to this big, I mean, through this big speaker, bitch, you can hear it, bitch, four blocks away, okay? And when you start to hear it, bitch, you get to snap it, okay? They always do that. They play all of our legendary go-go artists, okay? Mm-hmm, backyard band, mm-hmm, red asses. Shout out to white boy you there, okay? E.U., Sugar Bear, okay? Shout out to Sugar Bear doing the butt. Y'all know Sugar Bear, he did a song, Shake Your Thing with Salt and Pepper. You know my people, okay, yeah. Oh, the late godfather of soul, Chuck Brown. They play all that good shit out there, bitch. Let's do it for foot. They play all that good shit out, go-go Mickey. They play all that good shit out there, okay? For real. Mm, I get excited, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, people are coming in. So they build these new high-rise luxury apartments across the street where the Popeyes used to be, all right? So the people that's moving in, they said, y'all got to turn that music on. But mind you, they've been playing this music for years. Okay? So DC got upset. Bitch, it got to the news station. It got to the radio station. It got to the, all the big wigs in the city, bitch. So everybody just started putting shit together like, fuck that. We about to protest. We about to march like Martin did. DC got upset. And they started the hashtag, don't mute DC. Because they said, y'all got to turn that music off. And the people giving, bitch, we ain't turning this music off. We been playing this, playing this mu music over 20-something motherfucking years. You moving to our city, bitch, find another place to live. So the battle is on. The protest has stopped. 
And just recently, bitch, the whole fucking city came out, bitch, uptown, bitch, U Street. And they had this big protest, bitch, and it looked like the Million Man March. Like, who fuck put this together for a car, bitch? It was a lot. They was down there. They was playing their music. It was bike wheelies and shit in the middle of the street. People start complaining. Why y'all gotta do all that? Why the fuck y'all can't just come down here with signs? Why the fuck y'all got on people's property? Okay, now no fights and shit broke out. Not that I know of. Okay, then I ain't hear about no damages or nothing. Not that I know of. Okay, but if you heard anything, tell us about it, okay? At the congregation, right here in the newsroom, bitch, okay? That's the comments. Tell us about it, all right? But I didn't hear no shit. But they're just standing up for the city because they don't want the culture to fade away, on a serious note. And I don't think no city should be stripped of their culture, especially when it, when it has become a legacy. And it's a culture that people live through. And go-go music have saved lives because these musicians, they could have been doing anything else Okay, but they was going to practice. That's how they feed their families. And they trying to take this away from them. Okay, people look at it as, oh, it's jungle music. But it's not. It's music that saves lives. That's what it is. And we need it in our city. Regardless if you like it or not. There's a lot of different music that we don't like. Okay, there's a lot of different music that we don't understand. Opera. Okay, but at the end of the day, there's people that love it. So let's, let's not take away the love that people have for things that get them by day to day. You can't meet DC. We won't allow it. So shout out to them, bitch, because it was amazing. Bitch, and I'm ready to hear some music now, bitch. So listen up, bitch. We got a Dear Judy letter. Good morning. And if you want to write your Judy on duty, you make sure you go to my website, www.goodmorningbitch.com. Let's get into the good shit. Hey, good, good girlfriend. That's me, Lottie B, bitch, okay? Good, good girlfriend, Judy on duty, the happy, yellow, excited, gay one, bitch. Good morning, bitch. All the above. All right? Hey, good, good girlfriend. This is your good, good girlfriend. Please don't say my name. Oh, bitch, I won't. When they say that, bitch, it's deep. Okay? I'm just a pick -boo bitch watching. Mm-hmm. And she says, the pickable bitches are watching. She says, I need your advice ASAP. So my baby daddy and I haven't been on the same page lately. Okay, this is good. Let me get a fucking sip. Bitch, when you start like that, bitch, this is good, bitch. This hood shit. And we go, mm -hmm. I really don't want to be with him. Okay, bitch, tell him. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me read. Because I feel like he doesn't value me much as a woman. Should be valued. Especially as the mother of your child, you know? Mm. I feel like he's keeping me around so I won't put him on child support. Now, you know they do that. They do that. Let me be good to this bitch because I don't want to have to pay this bitch out of my check. They do that. Okay, but I don't know him and I don't know you, so let me keep reading. Okay, so here we go. Mm -hmm. When we were living together, he barely made bottles or changed pampers. He made his mother do it. I realized that we shouldn't be together. And I also don't want to depend on him. I want to depend on myself because I don't want no man to have full control of me, you know? So I left. Mm. I am a full-time mom. I need support with my daughter and he's not helping at all. He's saying you shouldn't have never left me and things like that. So I mean, should I put him on child support, good, good girlfriend? Love you, Lonnie. Please let me know ASAP. Bitch, should you put him on child support? You wasn't getting no support with him, and you ain't getting no support after him. Bitch, you better go to that court and see if you can get some support. Yeah. No, for real. No, for real, bitch. Yes. It takes a village. It takes a village. And sometimes you have to get the cops to take the other part of the village to do what they're supposed to do. For real, you should. You need help. Yes, you should put him on child support. If he wasn't doing nothing when you was with him, bitch, what makes you think he gonna do something, you know what I'm saying? When you leave him. But we get the attention when we leave. Because when you leave, bitch, he know, oh, it's serious. Okay? But you would think when you leave, he would like, oh, shit, it's serious. Let me do what I'm supposed to do. But this nigga ain't even doing what he was supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? After you done told him, I mean, after you done decided to leave, he still ain't doing what he was supposed to do. So that just means that he's the type of nigga that's never going to do what he's supposed to do. So now you got to make him do what he's supposed to do. Go to the fucking courts. You do. You do. You need help. And it's not being mean. And I can tell you a sweet girl because you're thinking about it. You ain't just go do it. You ain't no bit of bitch. You're thinking about it. But I'm going to tell you, you have to do it because you need help. You need financial help. 
And you know what I'm saying? People think that they're not supposed to help you and they think it's easy. But you need to do what you're supposed to do so that you can make a better life for your daughter because it's about your daughter. It ain't even about you and him. See, he making it about you and him because he's saying you shouldn't have left me. He making it about you and him. No, bitch, it's about the door. Then you need to be a father and be there for the daughter. And it seems to me that you ain't gonna be there for the daughter just because the girl left you. Who's more important in this situation? He don't know, so make him know, bitch. Go to the courts. Yes, bitch, okay, so listen to this, bitch. Here's some positive news for their ass. Tyra Banks! Bitch, she's on the cover. Sports Illustrated, bitch, at the age of 40 fucking five. Did y'all know Tyra was 45, bitch? Not with them thighs. Bitch, that's a rhyme, bitch. Did y'all know fucking Tyra was 45? Not with them thighs. Bitch, she look good. Bitch, she look like Thanksgiving, bitch. Okay, delicious. Bitch, she look good. Okay, now you know Tyra picked up a little weight. She not Lord Tyra that used to walk them streets in France, but she not Lord Tyra no more, okay? All right? She shaped nice, bitch, okay? On the cover of Sports Illustrated. Now, mind you, this ain't her first time. Now, let me read this literature. The legendary supermodel, bitch. I like how that sound. The legendary supermodel, okay? Here we go. Tyra Banks. She came out of retirement, bitch, okay? To grace the cover of Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. That's right, bitch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she was shaved just right. Yes, the fuck she was, bitch, okay? Now, as many of you know, she's no stranger to the magazine cover. Back in 1997... Okay, what was I doing in 97, bitch? Oh, I was in them clubs, bitch. That's what I was doing in 90, at the go-go. Bitch, yes, yeah, you can't mute DC, bitch. I was in the clubs at the go-go, bitch. Okay, what club was I in? The black hole, bitch. Yes! Listening to Backyard, bitch. Friday nights, bitch. Georgia Avenue. And we had to run to our cars when it was over. Okay, here we go. Get into this shit, okay? Mm-hmm. So listen. She was the first African-American woman, woman to be on the cover solo. In 1997, that's a major accomplishment, okay? This is her third time gracing the cover. And at 45, she's definitely, yes, still out there killing the game. That bitch look good, okay? Now, Tyra says, there is this stereotype that only a 20-year-old woman in a bikini is hot. Bitch, look at 45 with the thighs, bitch, okay? She says, I'm telling people that beauty comes in all shapes and sizes and ages. I have to put it, I have to put my money where my mouth is. And here's the pose. Sports Illustrated, bitch. That's a money shot, girl. Shout out to you, Tyra. I like that encouragement that you're giving these girls. I like that encouragement that you're giving these girls. Let them know you can fucking do it. You can fucking do it. You know, Lonnie Love. Mm-hmm. This is not in my story, but this came in my brain. You know, I got two people up there and they just talking about it, so I'm going to bring it out. Lonnie Love on The Real. She was talking about how she's been, you know, being a big girl on a show and color, dark girl on a show. She have to portray this certain character, like be the funny one, be the single one, you know, stuff like that by her being dark. The lightning have to be a certain way. You know, she just have to put on this certain curtain. And I, for the life of me, she said, that's how it, it is. And for the life of me, I just kept saying to myself, bitch, I said, why is it like that? Why do you allow it to be like that? That's all I kept saying to myself. Why do you allow it to be like that? Well, I got to do what I got to do to eat. Why do your paycheck got to come from someone else? Why can't you earn your own paycheck? Meaning be your own boss. Drug dealers do it every day. I think our culture of people have the mindset to make their own money. You just got to do it in a legal way. So why do you have to go through somebody else? Why can't you create your own show, your own network? Why you got to follow by those rules? Why you can't create your own rules? Tyler Perry doing it. There's a lot of people that's creating their own rules. Why you have to do it that way? And why do we have to make it seem like it's okay? Oh, I gotta be small. Why? Why can't you be a fluffy round girl on TV? Talking your shit, living in your truth. So if they won't accept who you are, then you create a lane for yourself. Bitch, look at me. Gay as shit. But I'm creating my own lane. I'm not waiting for nobody to call me, bitch, and say, come on, come on the show, bitch. I'll do my own. Why do I have to be that way? 
So I salute you, Tyra, for encouraging people to be who you are. Be who the fuck you are. Yes, so look, we have a missing report, bitch. Yes, we have a missing report, bitch. And we are looking for Tamia. Bitch, where is Tamia? Right, do you know Tamia? You don't know Tamia. She, she didn't go with no fucking little way. Stop putting everybody with little Wayne. First of all, stop putting everybody with little Wayne, okay? He said he want to fuck the world, but he oh, didn't. No, t- yes, that's Tamia. Y'all, y'all lost. Y'all lost. He's young. He's younger than me. Okay. Okay. That's okay. You know. Thank you. You know real music. You scared the shit out of me. Okay. Because you don't know real music. Okay. Thank you. He's a little young. Okay. But I look younger than him. He's a little young. Okay. But at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, I just want because that's because I go to bed. That's because I go to bed. Okay. At the end of the day, I want to find Tamia. Tamia, I need you back, girl. Okay. We need that real music. There's a stranger on the radio, bitch. I don't know these bitches on the radio. There's a stranger on the radio, and we're missing you, Tamia. So y'all tell Tamia that your duty on duty, Lonnie B, is looking for her. We need her on the radio, in the award shows. We need that good music, that voice. We need it back. Yes, all right? Now, that's our show. Remember to let no bitch upset you. And if no one told you they love you today, just know that your Judy on Duty Lonnie B loved you, girl. Okay, and I'm gonna see y'all next week, but I'm gonna leave y'all with this. Forgiveness. Forgiveness, bitch, it's never about the other person. It's always about you. Because when you forgive people, you open doors for yourself and blessings come in like no other. So learn to forgive people in order to move on to the next level in your life and receive all the blessings that you deserve. See y'all next time!